guess what I got? Guess what I got? Try the world. So I'm excited for Try the World. It comes every couple of months. So, um, and it's always different from another country. So I'm gonna open this box up. Here's the lid and it's the Italy box. So this is the little travel guide here and it's culture guide, excuse me, the culture guide. And in here it tells you everything that's inside the box, who the um, curator is. Her name is Egg. The curator's name is Egg Papa Darlie. I don't know how to say it. I'm so sorry. I cannot, I can't, I can't, I can't say it. Um, anyway, so this is where all the items are from all around Italy and I will refer to the card as needed, which probably will be all the time. I'm so excited. Huh. So here is the box, what it looks like right here. They always package it up really, really nicely. The first thing, let's see, the first thing I'm going to take out is this here. This is the risotto of fungi porcini. Oh my gosh, I'm butchering it. I just, I for, just forgive me. Forgive me. All right. La Dolce Vida. I think that means the sweet life. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. <laughs> it says 30 minutes and it serves two to three people right here. Um, I'm going to kind of pull this out here. You can kind of see like what's inside the bag, all the herbs and, and things like that. So that's pretty cool. It says it has the Arborio rice, the porcini mushrooms, dehydrated cheese, dehydrated hard cheeses, yeast extract, granular onion, carrot powder, parsley leaves, sea salt. Oh man, I would love to make this for tonight. I can't wait to use this. I love um, just risotto in general, so this one sounds delicious. Ooh, they wrapped everything up in this stuff here. Okay, this one is Maison no Nokiola. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm butchering everything. It's a hazelnut spread. Ooh, that is probably really, really yummy. Oh, it smells like peanut butter, but I know it's not. Let me just take a little tiny bit from the lid here. Mmm. That is so... It's like creamy, almost like peanut butter, but sweeter. Damn, that's good. Sorry. <laughs> Forgive that one too. It's really yummy. That is so good. Oh my gosh. What do you put that on? Toast? I'm going to read the culture guide. Mm -hmm. It says update your typical peanut butter and jelly or put it over pancakes. Good idea. Oh, okay. The next one is... Oh gosh, balsamic vinegar of Modena. So this one, this one doesn't look like a very thick balsamic vinegar. Uh, let's see what this, the culture guide says about it. Whisk it into salad dressing or drizzle it over fruit. Hmm. I'm not gonna open this one right now because of the dark color and I might make a really humongous mess. This next one is Pesto alla Genovese. Um, okay, it's a pesto sauce. <laughs> so I know with pesto sauce you can you can put it over like bruschetta or you can put it and mix it in with pasta. Right? I think I'm right. It says whisk into salad dressing or layer into sandwiches. Ooh, that sounds really, really good too. I bet you that'd be really awesome in sandwiches. Let me pop it open. Ha! Oh, that smells so good. Oh, what is in here that smells so yummy? Let's see. Ingredients. Basil, sunflower seed oil, cashew nuts, cheese, um, pecorino cheese, cream in powder, salt, pine nuts, garlic, um, lactic acid. Oh, man, that smells so good. Let's see, there's a little tiny bit in the lid. Use another finger for this one. 
Mmm. It's tangy. A little swing right in there. But it smells so freaking good. Oh, that would be delicious on a sandwich. Heck yeah. I think I'm going to make one when I'm done. Put some salami, some turkey, some all kinds. I like lots and lots and lots of meat and a little bit of cheese. And this would be yum. All right. Next we have Amoretti a la mandorla. These are, I don't know what they are. So these are tender almond cookies. It says macaroons. Let's see. So they come individually wrapped right here. I'm going to pop this one open. I'm going to open it for real and taste it. They're soft. I thought they were going to be hard for some reason when I saw the shape. They're really sweet. Holy cannoli. They're super, super, super duper sweet. My gosh. It says it's only nine grams of sugar. I guess that's a lot for a little tiny cookie. They're extremely sweet. This has to be coffee because it's hard as a rock. I kind of sort of smell right through it, but it is, um, it's a coffee. So a light change, the sun is like literally going down. What am I gonna do? All right, last one in here. This is some pasta. This is egg pasta pappardelle. So, and they're just like flat pieces of pasta. All right, so that is everything. The sun is gone. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry about the lighting change in here. It is the end of the day. So everything w looks really good. I am super excited to try it out. If you're interested in Try the World, I will definitely leave a link down below. Um, everything seems super interesting. A lot of yummy, yummy things in here. So I'm really excited to try it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Try the World for sending me over this box to try out. You know I'm going to have so much fun messing with it and cooking it. Um, I'm really excited for a couple of the things, but especially this one. This is the <clears throat> pesto sauce, making me some sandwiches. I'm gonna toast up some bread. I wish I had some fancy bread, but I don't. I have to do with what I got, because I really wanna try this out. So thank you again so much to Try the World, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I will see you again in another one.